we're I'm speaking Creole. We're now currently at Buka restaurant. Sa Buka lady. What does Buka mean? You said Buka means something. Buka, Indian word. I don't, know, I don't know the meaning. It's an Indian word. I don't know. Yeah, I'm Buka done. is not a uh, tree. Buka is not a tree. It's an Indian word. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wash my hands. I don't know shit. <laughs> oh, thank you. I like the consistency. I'm sure you get that one now. I'm already done with my food, y'all. Sorry. I'm already done. Yeah, better than yesterday. Yeah, better than yesterday. Good afternoon, my sister Eve. Okay. Today is your second day in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And today, um, you had Ghanaian food from yesterday and today. Can you tell us a little about how you experience Ghanaian cuisine today? Mm, okay, that's a great question. I would say Ghanaian cuisine is absolutely delicious. It reminds me of home. I'm originally from IET, Haiti, in the Caribbean. Um and yesterday I had Monica fish, which is a very firm fish um, with some amazing pepper sauce and some coconut rice. Absolutely amazing. Everything was grilled to perfection. Everything was perfectly seasoned. Um, the level of like the flavor that I taste from the coconut rice was absolutely amazing. Um, very fresh. Um, and the portions were huge. I'm talking about like big. So I had to definitely had to take some back home with me. And then today here at Buka restaurant, I really wanted to eat some fufu. In IT, we call it tom tom. 
and the fufu blending the cassava in the in the plantain or bonan as we call it is is amazing. I've mostly had my fufu just like as cassava or bonan, not mixed together. So that was so good. And light soup is so good. It's very refreshing. The flavor is not really like robust, but it's enough to make it feel really good when you're eating it. Um, and the fish stew that I had, along with uh, the boiled plantain, the boiled banan, and the yam, my God. So flavorful, so much depth. Um, please come to Ghana so you can enjoy this amazing food. Um, bring a lot of your appetite. Yeah. Oh, no saying in English. You say it in Creole, IT. You say it in your language, IT. Then you say it in my language, IT. Okay. Yeah. Okoni. Oh, you want to say it? I don't got any. We shall see, no? Yes. Welcome. We shall see. Okay, and this one, on a respect. Hey, do la, do la, do la. Okay, so in my also, our dialect too, we say Zare. And you say Naba. Naba. When when I see you before you you even say one mm -hmm. and I say like respect already. Uh -huh. when you see you I say respect already. So, mm -hmm. Which is Zare. Zare. And then you say Naba. Naba. Yeah. So wow. that means welcome. Mm -hmm. And then you say thank uh -huh. you. So Zare. Naba. Naba. I'm going to, uh, we're going to perform for you girls, the name is Zare. Zare. So, Zare means welcome. Zare means welcome. And the name of the rhythm is Zare. Let's go, let's go. <laughs>
Yeah, that's cute. I got my little twisty. I'm matching my twin. <laughs> you can do my whole hair like this, and I want it all. It looks cute. Now we're going, going, going to after dancing. I'm sorry so much. We're gonna go to the market to go. Oh, we're going to get some shea butter. We're going to get some shea butter. Oh, pure shea butter. And she can mix a different, um, mix in a certain scent that you want as well. Wow. 
That's amazing. Wow. It's not bad. Wow. I don't mix this one.